Cundy, just just to uh, give some context yep. into the, the show, right? We yep. sit here for two hours, yep. we watch the games, we've got them all way. on, yep. we talk about what we're doing, yep. Billy comes in, what we're yep. doing, what we're doing. Yep. Massive game, yep. unbelievable. Yep. Luton Town get pumped. Yep. You've got one job. Yep. One job on the sports bar is to come on yep. and do as, uh, as anyone's seen. Yep. It's your gig... Yep. And then you come in here scrambling and enough, you mate. come up with Kevin Foley and Luton Who. It's, it's, it's not good enough, mate. It's, it's poor from you, mate. Do, do I feel like? I feel like Rob Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I feel like right You've now. You've let yourself down, mate. mate. You've let the team down, I've, I've, It's poor. Let's talk about poor. Luton. Plucky Luton. They get so much praise. And at times, you, it's almost backhanded, isn't it? Oh, well done, Luton. You had a go. Against Chelsea, to three nil down. Come yeah. back three two. Yeah. Might have nicked an equaliser. If they got the third, mate. Got... Liverpool, shut down. Plucky old Luton. Yeah, Newcastle. Arsenal, plucky old Luton. Newcastle, plucky old. Luton. You can't. You know, plucky gets you nowhere in the Premier League. The games that are at home that they should have taken more points. And that tonight, that is a damning indictment. That is a disaster. That is a disaster. That's a disaster so tonight bad. because they. They've shown that they can scrap, and they've shown they can give teams trouble. I've just rattled off They're a few names there. Half Man time. City as well, not in the FA Cup because they got you know they got turned over, but at home in the they've shown Luke Castle away. You mentioned fourth. Yeah, fourth they've fourth. shown, but tonight, tonight where it shows, you know what? They're just not good enough. Unfortunately, I disagree. They're just well, not I, good. I, no, I disagree well, they, with that. You can't no, be three nil up, Jay, I, I, and walk away with now. They're three nil up at half time, so that says to me they are yeah. more than good enough. No, no, they're three nil up. But Jay, like, there's keep, what's gone on there? Keep, what's happened at half time? What's the manager said? And you know, look, Rob. I like Rob. He's, he, I really like what he's about as a manager. I know him. I think he's a great guy. But mm. that was naive from him tonight. Well, as soon as the first goal goes in, you start thinking, right. Let's let's make well, this let's make this a bore fest. Let's let's you know stun the crowd. Let's make it horrible. Turn it down the channels. Do what we got to do. Get a result. We cannot afford to lose this game. We're winning three yeah. nil, and they've lost the game. Yeah, but Come like on. I said, Jay, this this has been yes, there have it's been moments in games, and there have been games where they've shown they can scrap and they can fight, but they're going to go down, and they're going to go down. People are saying, well, didn't Luton have a night? Calling it now did, already. Did, no, but no, well, I'm not, not the forest at the weekend. I I know, but what I'm saying is right now that is tonight is a disaster because they are out the bottom three. No, no, they were out of the bottom three on goal Better difference. Goal difference as well. Going yeah. going away to to Forest at the weekend, which is which is now a bit. That's a they've got out of jail here. Forest Everton can't believe their luck. Even Brentford must be looking at that thinking, oh my god, maybe Palace. Although I doubt it. No. Although. Ian Morris, uh, one of our, one of the management the area's worries, the palace. But that's a disaster, Jay. You don't, you, to, to go away from home at three and up at half time, that don't often happen. That's, that doesn't often happen, well, it's, right? It's only happened three times. No, I mean, going away from home and winning it three, to, three and at half time, oh, right? right? It okay. doesn't matter who you are. Yeah. Like Man City yeah. don't even do that. Yeah, I know. Liverpool went there. And right had a, and right had a, had a, so this this is a disaster for Luton. Well, I just want to get inside the, the dressing room there at half time. You know, what was the, the mentality? What was the, the know, conversations? Have they know. come out and took their foot off the gas or think they've won it or are they laughing and joking? You know, like you're going at half time there and you're thinking, right, come on. You, you cannot, you cannot afford to lose that game. All right, you might give up one goal, you might give up two. Right, but come away for nothing. But come away with nothing. Do you know, can we also give Bournemouth a bit of credit? Yeah, I mean, fair for, play for as good as them. Luton were in the first half, they couple, they're couple fans of a bit goals. of a disgrace half time booing them off. Um, I, I didn't hear it, although I just heard Sam say that they were booed off. Three nil down at half time against a side that's in the relegation zone. I mean, you can give it a little. Can't you? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a ghost in the room. <laughs> 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 No, but you can you can show some disgruntlement, can't you? A three 0 down at yeah, home. Yeah, I guess. I guess. When yeah. you're like, <laughs> when you're just below mid table. <laughs> <laughs> but that that's a disaster for Luton, that's mate. A bad it result, is. It's, mate. it's a terrible result. That's that's the worst result they've had this season by some distance. That by some distance, <sighs> oh, mate. Yeah, it's not good. Luton fans want to hear from you. You've been travelling back from Bournemouth. That is an absolute nightmare for yeah. your season. Yeah. You got a huge game at the weekend against Nottingham Forest, and that was a kick in the teeth losing that game. You can't lose it no. if you want to stay in the Premier League. That was a massive statement you could have made tonight, and you were brilliant in the first half. I think you've shown you are good enough because you're three 0 up. So what happened? What happened at half time for you to fall apart so badly? Uh, let's go to Pete. He's a Luton Town fan, All right, Pete? Thank you, Pete. Yeah, how you doing, guys? Oh, oh Pete, what is going on? 
Well, that just tells me, and I think Jason's right, that tells me that we're just not quite good enough at this level. It, it's no it's, it's no fault of the players. The players are just not good enough at this level. I disagree, Pete, I have to disagree with you, mate. I have to, because it's there in black and white. You're 3-0 up, away from home. You've done it. Newcastle, you're two goals up, away from home. Yeah, it's, like, it's you can't no say you're not good enough. It's obviously... It's no coincidence, is it, that we keep losing games? But it's the menta- yeah, but then something's got to change then, in terms of the mentality or the tactics. Because you've shown you're good enough to beat teams. If you weren't scoring goals, then I'd say you're not good enough. But you are scoring goals. But how do, how do the boys pick themselves up from that? Because at the end of that game, they were on their knees. They yeah. were broken men at the yeah. end of that game. Yeah, and there's a naivety about it as well. You know you yeah, know yourselves. Go. You've played the game. You're 3-0 up at half-time. You go compact for 10 minutes. You maybe stick five across the middle. And you just don't concede. And, you know, we were still going for it. And you can't play basketball football in the Premier League against these sides because you'll get found out. Yeah, but, but that. That, well, there you go, then. You've answered the question, and you're not even a manager, Pete. You, you, you know, you've answered the, the... Right there, Rob Edwards has to look at himself after that game. <laughs> he's, a, he's a really yeah. good manager. I like him. But you have I to mean, look at not, himself not... tactically and go, hold on a minute, oh, come on. That's, that's, uh, we can't not... keep... Some, I'm doing yeah, something wrong here. I'm doing something wrong here because yeah, that can't it, happen. It, it, it's not enough to be the best-looking manager in the league. You've got to be able to manage games. And, you know, and we didn't do that tonight. There was a naivety about our play when we come out for the second half. And it's as simple as that. I mean, here's here's a up. stat for you, right? You've scored more goals in the Premier League than Manchester United. Well, yeah, I think we've scored in right. about 14 consecutive games. Right. So you've scored more goals than Man United, but only two other teams have conceded more. Oh, and and so, so... You know, going forward, you do have the ability. OK, there are teams in there that have scored a lot more goals between you and Man United. You know, Newcastle, 59. Um, but defensively, that shows me that, that, that as a unit, you're not going to keep conceding goals like that. You're not going to get away with it. And tonight, no, it's, 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 a, it's a disaster, that. <laughs> it's a disaster. Yeah, it's a I disaster. agree. That, that is the worst, that, like you say, that is the worst result of the season. Mm. Now we've got mm. a massive game on Saturday. Mm. You know, he's got to pick them players up tomorrow morning. Yeah. I mean, that's going to be a quiet coach on the way home. But oh, it's going to be terrible. Oh, it's horrible, that. Terrible. Yeah, horrible, yeah. horrible. You know, what do you say to the players? Just mm. forget mm. it and we'll move on. Well, you that. have to. There's nothing you can do. You've got a huge game at the weekend, massive game at the weekend. They've got to pick themselves up. But I want to hear from Luton Town fans. Um, it's like, how are you feeling? You must be you must be feeling pretty low in the yeah, drive yeah, home. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a kick to the, yeah. you know what. Yeah, we, I promise you, if you come on, we won't yeah. play laughing noise there on the phone. I promise you, we won't, no, all right? Jay, you, Jay, you, Jay, do Jay, you, you make that promise? No, not at all. No, you make that promise. No, you won't do laughing. I've got, look. I've got nothing to do with it. No. You've got nothing to do with it. It's got nothing to do with it. We don't press the button. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, but you're the one. So you're like, I've got nothing to do with that. No, that's Harry Al. I mean, Harry yeah, Al. Right, we'll, 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 oh, come now, on. If you phone up, you're yeah. a Luton fan, yeah. chances are you're going to get the laugh track. No, uh, we won't do that tonight. Well, you're lying then. No, we won't. Uh, right, there is Champions League football happening tonight. Uh, no English teams, though, but it's half time in extra time between Atletico and Inter Milan. And watching for Talk Sports, Jeff Peters. Well, Atletico lead Inter Milan 2 1 on the night. It's 2 2 on aggregate. They've just got the second period underway. An intense and absorbing tie could still go either way. A brilliant fight back from Atletico. Di Marco um, and. Uh, Griezmann exchanging the first half goals. Turam and Berea, Berea should have made the game safe for Inter. Both wasteful when clear. Memphis Depay off the bench, hit the inside of the post before scoring brilliantly three minutes from the end to take it to extra time. Depay almost got a third for Atletico in that first period. Sommer with a crucial save. This is a brilliant, brilliant, intense game of football. It's Atletico Madrid 2, Inter Milan 1, 2-2 on aggregate in the second period. Of extra Jeff, time. can I ask you a question, please? Sure. I saw, and we, we, literally as we're coming on air, I saw up in the monitors, it looked like Turam had done a Vinnie Jones style grab, like a la uh, Paul Gascoigne, on one of the Atleti players, and he went down, so he's held him in his private. W- what was made of that? I, I, I never saw what happened. Did it go to VAR or what? Yeah, it was checked by VAR, and there was no red card. So, what basically what happened to Ram? used his hand yeah. to grab yeah. the lower yeah. regions it's, and it's, squeeze it's, uh, the defender Savic yeah. and Savic it's, went down and they decided that that wasn't... It's a red card! 
Well, VAR decided it's, that it wasn't. He's grabbed. He's got a whole handful there. You can if see you it. Did, if you did that in the street, yes, you would that, get arrested. It, it, it grabbed a whole handful. It's on VAR. And I couldn't believe it because we're walking in the studio. I'm thinking VAR must be dealing with this. And all of a sudden, the play... I'm, I'm astonished. Absolutely astonished. Mm. All right, Jeffrey. All right, Jeff, we'll come back to you. Big game. Uh, and, and that's been an exciting one. Uh, but we are obviously talking about the, the massive game that has been going on tonight. Uh, it is Luton Town and Bournemouth. Unbelievable mm. Premier League fixture. Um, just a reminder as well, though. Dortmund, they beat PSV 3-1 on aggregate to reach the quarterfinal. Jaden Sancho among the scorers again tonight. Right, he's, yeah. a, he's in decent form. Uh, but let's go to Rob. He's a Luton fan. All right, Rob? All right, Rob. How you doing? You all right? <laughs> Oh, I mean, look, Honest, I Rob, no. lads, I'm Rob, I, I can't, I can't say that was anything to do with me, mate. Nah, it's fine. It's a bit childish, but we'll move on. <laughs> it is childish. It's very childish, Rob. It sums this lot up. Rob, talk to me. How are you feeling? Because that tonight, I can't believe what I've watched. Um, yeah, got it. To be fair, obviously, <laughs> come out tails up. <laughs> Go on, Rob. Come on. Ow. Ow. Tails up. Um, once the first goal went in, I think that we should have made a change. It, the, the, the script was being written in front of our eyes. You could see what was yeah. going to happen. Yeah. And once the second, third went in, there was only one team that were going to go on and win. I think you hit the nail on the head. Naive. Um, obviously, the lads are giving everything. Just, it's just so disappointing. What an opportunity to, uh, to climb out of the bottom three. I keep saying it, Rob. Like, and, and Candy and, you know, says that maybe you're not good enough. I th- but I th- you are. Because as you, you scored more goals than Man United this season, so you are good enough in the Premier League to score goals. We're 100 percent good enough. We're just, we're to be honest, we're our own worst enemy. We've, I think we've only let two really good goals in this season. It was uh, at least say at home against Palace and Burnley at home. I think a lot of the other goals have been our own mistakes. So I think we're we are we are good enough. We just need to cut the cut the errors out. But tonight is going to be a massive a mental factor going into the rest of the season. I mm. think we're, we're going to struggle a little bit. On average, you're letting in two goals a game. And you're not, you know, you're not scoring enough to. So you, what do you mean, ain't scoring enough? An the, hour, they've got forty-one. No, I know, but if you're getting two goals, you have to score three to win the game. That's the point I'm making. You do, it's all well and good scoring forty-one games and that, forty-one goals. And that's that's decent. It's not brilliant. It's decent. What do you mean it's not brilliant? It is no, but, brilliant. No, but Man United are poor, right? That's terrible, isn't it? Four goals, forty-one goals, Man United. Yeah, right, let's go, scored more goals than Fulham. Th- yeah, Crystal Palace, Brentford, I know, but Everton. Nottingham Forest, know, Burnley, know, Sheffield all, United. I know, they're all round. They're one behind Wolves, and you say Wolves have been unbelievable this season. But you can't be conceding, on average, two goals a game. You can't, Jay. No. I, You're not going to get away with that, no. mate. And who's fault's who's, who's that? Rob? Who's fault's that? Oh, um, do you know what? We're obviously really, really bad with the injuries. I think we're top of the injury list at the minute. Um, but three and a half half time anywhere, how, you shouldn't be, regardless of injury, you should not be losing that game. No. It's as simple as that. I'm so gutted. My, my boy's here with me, and it's just a yeah, a horrible journey. I can't believe what's happened. Um, mm. How old's your boy, Rob? The first goal went in. I thought it was off. Say again? How old's your boy? Say He's 13. Does he want to come on and have a, have, have a say? He's here. What's his name? What's his name? Ashton. Right. Ashton, say hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that. that's outrageous. No, come on. Ow. Uh, no, ow. Sorry, Ashton. Uh, Ashton. Ashton. No, sorry. How, how are you feeling, mate? Awful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Well, yeah. Ash, well. Ash, Ash, Ashton, you got to go to school tomorrow? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's your first it's lesson tomorrow? Who, who does Condi support? Yeah, exactly. It's a good point. It's a good point. L- listen, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> it's not us that pressing the button, all right? Don't take it. Do you want to hear it out? Yeah. He's a Fulham fan. Is he? Yeah. No, it's got nothing to shout about. No, exactly. Quiet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's nothing to do with us. <laughs> nothing to do with us. Listen, Rob, Ashton, I really appreciate you coming on, mate. And try and enjoy that journey back. Uh, we'll try and... Put a smile on your face, and uh, I promise you, no more laughter tracks. No more laughter tracks, all right? Al, no more. Yeah. Let's go to Pete. He's a Bournemouth fan, right, Pete? Stinky Pete. How you doing? You all right? I'm all right, Pete. Pete. I'm all right. I mean, half time, Pete, shambles from your lot, and then second well, half. I was going to let you off, Jamie, to be honest, because last time I phoned you up, I said Dom Solanke would get 15 goals, and you said 
what, including friendlies. So I was just wondering if you still take it like the same way. What do you mean? Well, he's got how many goals well, has he got? He's got fifteen tonight. Isn't he? Unbelievable! Fair play to him. I'll take it on the tune. Yeah, got I, got it wrong. He's had a great season. I, I can't remember saying that, that if I'm honest. But do you reckon he needs an England call up? Um. He's in the conversation. There's no, there's no doubt about that. He's in the conversation. You know but what? He's not... I like him yeah. because he's an all round. He's, he's an all rounder. Yeah. He's, he's got a bit of everything, hasn't he? Yeah, he, he gives you something a little different. Um, Ivan Tony's still getting back to his feet. He's, he's done it all season. Dom Solanke. It's mm. a brilliant goal tonight, by the way. Mm. Now the last call of the Luton caller said he wondered if there's offside. I heard uh, Scotty Minto and Adrian Durham have a debate about is it offside. I need to see it again. I need to see that again because I can't quite work out who they felt was offside. It wasn't obvious to me, but apparently the boys in the gallery were saying, maybe there's a shot of us. I need to see it again. Mm. But tonight's finish was was excellent. Yeah. Pete, uh, look, are you, you happy with this manager? You've actually, you know, doing well, 28 games, 35 points. Kind of, you've picked up and done well this season, really, from a sticky start. It's an absolute breath of fresh air. Absolutely. I've not enjoyed this football since Eddie Howe because we had Scott Parker sideways football. Uh, Gary O'Neill kept us up and did a good job, so I'm not going to say anything bad about him. But mm-hmm. it, it wasn't attractive football. Yeah. Um, but and Doni, I mean, it, he just got to show it. He'll, he'll leave two centre backs on the pitch, move a cent, uh, central midfielder down at the back to play the ball like a quarterback, mm-hmm. and stick like four wingers on the pitch. He just doesn't, you know, he doesn't quit. So it's great. No, no, but you were three 0 down at half, half time, and you lot were booing him off the pitch. Well, that's why I was calling up, because when you said we were out of order for doing it, you've got to bear in mind, last time game, we had Sheffield United, we were 2-0 down, and we had 30 shots against them, and we only drew two Did you all. Boo? We had Burnley the week before that, and they had all the possession. I know we won 2-0, but it was a really bad game of football, wasn't it? So You were booing, weren't you, Pete? No, I wasn't booing, no. But I can understand why people would right. do, because... Yeah. You know, sometimes you just got to show a bit of frustration. It worked, didn't it? Because they came out and and shut everyone up. So mm. fair play to the lads. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, I mean, look, half time. This is a very different story, right? To come out and win it four three. But Ariola <laughs> will be going in up, going in at, at full time, oh. saying we can't give teams three new head start. <laughs> we can't give teams two you lead think? start. No, what's that? They've done it last week at Sheffield United. They got out of jail. They got out of jail again tonight. So I mean, Lu- but Luton are normally the team that start a game with one, right. one nil down, I, two nil I, down. I, they I, come back into it T- tonight. Luton don't start playing. Normally, they lose. Luton don't normally start playing until they're at least two down. Then they come out swinging. Now tonight they go three nil up and they got their hands on their back. Oh, it's so bad. Honestly, it's really bad. Uh, Pete, thanks for your call. Uh, you want to have your say on that performance tonight? We're going to take your calls. Uh, Luton are the third team ever to lose a game after being 3-0 up at half-time. And we want to know as well, just to bring other people into the the uh, the talking points, what's the what's the best game you've ever seen, best comeback you've ever seen from your side? 0-3-7-1-7-2-2-3-3-4. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.